feels like the it feels like everybody's moved on. Nobody wants to talk about the Drake and Kendrick Lamar anymore. Except for us. We've we've been on it. We still well, no, have not moved. Specifically, the Drake fans don't want to talk about it anymore. They want this gone. But what you can't get past is the many things that Drake uh is as a businessman, because now people are looking at all of those endeavors. He just dropped a Nocta Nike shoe, you know, which is his brand, Nocta, N-O-C-T-A, which I like some of their gear. I like their golf stuff for sure. And uh, at any rate, rumors are circulating that the shoe did not sell well. Now, we all we all saw when he posted, or at least sneaker sites posted about the shoe dropping, and we went to the comments. And we've been talking about that for a few days because we thought, oh, okay, it's just comments. Calling them the, uh, what were they called? The the, the pedo threes? Yeah, the P3DOs. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the, the uh, I don't know, they had some other names. Some other names. Really yeah. funny names. At any rate, uh, Rosenberg, you went and looked up the shoe last night when I sent you this story. What'd you find out? Well, so yeah, Ebro sent a story that basically said the the Drake knocked his sneakers not selling. And, and the, his huge deal with Nike is a huge flop. But the site that he sent it from, it wasn't a super reliable looking site. Mm -hmm. So I went, let me go on Nike.com and just check. I will say Nike.com, you could order every size, everything that was available was available. However, I don't know if that has anything to do with the Kendrick thing as much as are people really checking for the Nocta stuff like that. Well, I think I think that's well. I that's what Cass One's point is, is the last shoe didn't do too well for the Nocta brand. I kind of like this white one, actually. Kind of looks, looks all right. No walk around with some Air Drakes? The Drake Nocta Hot Step 2 White. White? No, I wouldn't today. No, I'll be honest with you. I don't think I'd make that. You know, listen, it sounds like collectively. I think you should. I think, and listen, I think that's a commitment this show needs to make. Because I think that um, people see us as biased. So we all rock matching Noctas? Yeah, so we should go support. Because a lot of it seems like the collective sneaker public is saying these shoes are weird. Why are they around? <laughs> That's what it feels like they're saying. Yo, and the Knicks get on tonight. The Knicks get it on tonight in Indiana. What do you see here at ESPN Zone Rosenberg? Uh... Man, I, I think the Knicks are going to do what the Rangers did last night, and that is finish things off on the road. I think okay. they'll get it. I think they'll get it done, man. I think they'll get it done. But I have to say, if if it looks like after a half it ain't happening, again, I I I rest Brunson and go. Let's win this thing in Game Seven. You know what I mean? You can't burn out tonight because you know you got one in the garden that's going to be lit if they have to come game back seven the at the garden mm -hmm. is going to be super lit mm -hmm. and, so, you're, and you're and you're headed in whoever wins this matchup is headed into a resting boston scenario exactly so but i i think they're going to get it done tonight i don't know why i feel good og and Anobi's already been ruled out for this game um, which is not surprising but i think the knicks are going to find a way to take that momentum from the last game plus they got an extra day of rest and I think they'll go in and knock off Indiana. And then, like it's 94 all over again, 30 years on the dot, we'll have the Rangers and Knicks back in the conference finals at the same time, guarding on tilt every night. Every night. It's a good time.